from Mark chapter 7. Well, Mark 7 has got this very clear teaching of the Lord Jesus about where sin comes from. There is nothing, he says, from outside the man that going into him can defile him. But the things which proceed out of the man, they are those that defile the man. And he lists all the various kinds of sin. And he says all these evil things proceed from within and defile the man. That's why the Bible continually emphasizes the state of the heart or the mind. You've got this very clearly in, in James chapter 1. Temptation begins within us. It's simply not true that Satan or demons take over our mind and kind of force you to sin. No, sin comes from within uh, because the process of temptation is internal to our hearts. That's why Jesus says that doing a sin in your mind is counted as if you've done the, the act. It's why one of the Ten Commandments was, you shall not covet. Now, no human legal code could include something like that. You know, you shall not covet. That's a, that's a crime, as it were. Because all man can do is to judge the external actions. No legal authority can judge the thinking that is going on within a human heart and make it sort of culpable of judgment. But God looks at the heart and he judges what he sees. And the heart in the Bible is, is the mind. So control of our thoughts is what is so important to him. It really does matter what we think and how we think. And so we have to ask, what am I thinking about as I wake up, as I go to sleep at night, as I drive, as I walk down the street? Where are our thoughts? Now, Peter says that we are to gather together our minds as if gathering clothing under a belt. Our minds tend to wander, to go off all over the place. And we need to get our thoughts together. A disciplined mind, to be people of purpose, who are constantly thinking down a spiritual path of, of thought. We live in an age like no other, where our minds are bombarded with the empty, vain images and phrases which come to us from the screens that we look at or the music we hear. The call to be spiritually minded is a call to be self-controlled in what we look at or listen to. If you fill your mind with empty things, then this is how you will be, because, as the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. We become like what we think we are, our thoughts. Instead, we must be like Jesus, who was the Word of God made flesh. Now, God's Word has got to become flesh in us as it was in Jesus.